Good morning, everyone. It's Tammy, and I thought I'd do something a little different today. I purchased these two card kits from Michaels, and they are on sale right now. So it says $12.99 for the U.S., and I know that I got them for at least half that, or no more than half that. I don't remember exactly the price, but this one makes cute little like snowmen that have a Oh, that's called something, but I don't remember what it's called. But the fun little pop-out belly. And this one says it's a pop-up card. So I'm just now looking at it, and it looks like it holds a gift card, which there's six of them. I wasn't intending to get six gift cards this year, I don't think. But you know what? Maybe I will. And um, I thought that these would be cute for Christmas cards. So we'll see. I'm really not sure if it's practical to send them in the mail or not. But I think that these have everything in them that you might need. So let's go ahead and open it up. And I thought we could maybe make one together. Well, the box is taped very well. I have some supplies, obviously, but I don't have any. I didn't take any out for this because I think everything is included. So... We shall see. Here's everything in this bag. Looks like the little cards. And these are those pop out. I love that sound. Oh my goodness, that sounds so cool. So there's those. And there's blue envelopes, which are pretty and the instructions. So let's see what it says. It says we have six snowmen cards. We have six envelopes, six glitter snowflake stickers. This looks like scarves. I'm just gonna rip it open. Honeycomb, that's what it's called. Honeycomb. So his little belly is a honeycomb belly. Okay, so has little Velcro things. Goodness, pop dots. Some glitter, which I think those are the snowflakes, yes. And some ribbon, which it looks like this will need to be cut. Oh, maybe not. Oh my goodness, it's even cut for you. Holy shamoly. All right, so it says step one. Adhere flattened honeycomb pieces into front and back of snowman die cut. So they get two, the front and the back. And it looks like you want to put them on the opposite side of where it says, like, let it snow. or. And there is a little glue strip here. So I wasn't sure if that was one too, but it looks like there's two glue strips. And it looks like you put the flat part on the bottom, which would make sense. Oops. Ugh. I'm just trying to find a place to hold on to it so I can get this centered. I don't know if I want it to be centered. I'm going to put it more in the center of the card. so that when it opens, <laughs> I'm thinking too hard, I think, but let's just go ahead and see what this looks like when it's opened. There we go. So then I'm just going to put him here. 
like that. So there's the front and the back. I'll do the same thing. And now that I kind of know where it will go, I'll just eyeball this one. and then place the Velcro sticker onto honeycomb piece in the front of the back of the snowman card so when they match up when the honeycomb section is fully opened. So it says to put one of these on the front and back so that it will open. So I'm just gonna put one there and then I will put one on top of it. And then I will open it so I know that it will fully match. Oh, that's cute. I was wondering how they were gonna do that. Then I'll do the same thing to the side. I will just put a Velcro here. And one on top of it. And then open it up. Good, and I wasn't sure. I was like, oh gosh, I hope it doesn't cover up the lettering, but it did not. It's okay for both of them. Oh, that's cute. And then now it says decorate the front with a snowflake sticker. So you put a snowflake sticker right there where he's holding the snowflake. Oh, I'm smiling inside because this is cute. Now there are little pieces that didn't pop out. So I'm just going to try to take those out with my little tool here. can't tell if there's one in the middle and there's not. So I got the little holes opened up and I'm just going to put this right down here. So he's holding the cute little snowflake and then hat and scarf die cuts Decorate the front of the card with the hat and the scarf die cuts. Keep both honeycomb sections flat to place the card in the envelope. So I will just put this on top. Now it does have pop dots that I can use for this and for this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it gives you four. So that would be two on each piece. And then you could cut some of this up if you wanted to, which is probably what I will do like cut some of this uh, wrapper up to make even more pop dots. Because I think I would like another one right here. So let me just show you what I'm talking about in case you are new to this or if you just aren't exactly sure what to do. I'm just going to... Because all of this material is adhesive and sticky. It just isn't all used. I even might want a little piece right there, so I'm just going to cut off another little section here. And put it right there. That way I get a little more bang for my buck. But it is cool that everything comes with it, and it looks like it's going to be super cute. I'm just going to lay this down. Now, another thing that might be helpful are some tweezers. And I use these for other things, so I have them handy. 
but I'm just going to use my tweezers to kind of position this where I want it before sticking it down. Just like that. Oh, that's cute. And then your hat, I could put that right on top and I'm gonna use some pop dots for that as well. And two actually might be enough for the hat. Since it's just sitting right there, I mean, two would probably be enough for the scarf too. I was just being a little overzealous, I think. And then I want to make sure that I line these that hole up with the other hole so I can put the ribbon in it. Oh my goodness, that is a cute card. And then I take one of the ribbons, and they could even use this as an ornament when they get it. I think I'm just gonna tie it in a, just a regular knot up here. Sometimes my fingernails don't like me when I'm tying ribbons, so. There we go. So here is the finished card. I think it turned out really cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it so you can see it totally complete. Hopefully. This is so full, I'm not kidding, it's kind of hard to open. The little honeycombs are so full of honeycomb. Oh, it's an adorable card. I think it would even sit, yes, it even sits up. Oh my goodness. It is adorable. And it's a semi-homemade card. I think it's super cute. And honestly, I think if you just put one in the front, I think that you could get by with that as well. Oh my goodness, I just had him flat on the back. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. I'm loving it. So there's that one, super cute. And it came with everything I needed. And let's check out card number two, which is this pop-up kit. And instead of trying to open it the way I did the last one, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this tape. They sure make sure you don't get into it, don't they? And this makes six cards as well. Move all of this stuff over to the side. Ooh, there's even some glue in here, it looks like some glitter glue. And here are the cards for these. These are interesting. Now you might need a little extra postage, I don't know. Um just because it's kind of thick. So I would take it to the post office to ask them and I don't have any problem doing that. I do that quite often for myself. Oh, and look at these fun envelopes. They open from the side. Now the envelopes are very thin, but it's just an envelope. So there's six green envelopes, very cute. There are some snowflake stickers. I'll dig into those. And what do we have in here? Oh, little barns. I love them. And little happy holidays. Okay, so in here are the instructions for this. It says, fold up flaps 
A and B. So that's this one and this one. Just open it up like this. Fold up flaps A and B and then remove the easy peel adhesive from the bottom of the flaps. Fold up and use guidelines to adhere to the other side of the card. So then I fold these up. I don't know where I'm supposed to... Um, is that a guideline? It must be. I can't decide if it goes like this or if it goes up. And then there's a little gift card holder on that side, so I need to be careful. So let me read all of them. And then remove the easy appeal and place the house on the exterior. Fold panel, plan, panels around so they fit together. And these have score lines, so I'm assuming I fold them on the score lines. So I'm doing all of that. And then these go together, I think, and then this comes together, and then these come together. So it opens up like this. And there'll be a little house inside somewhere. And then how does it fold? Fold the green card and slip into slots on the front of the card. Oh, I guess this also fits in here. So it doesn't have to be a gift card. It's not a gift card. It's this that says happy holidays that you slip inside there. Oh, that's even better then. So I think that this fits on this. I'm just trying to see how it will close once I have it all taped together. I guess I fold this in and then this will get folded in. Okay, so I think that this is where I want them to be, somewhere right there. And that's the guideline, I'm assuming. This might answer your question. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. I don't know why she's telling me this, but okay. Thanks, Alexa. Alexa, stop. Good grief. And now my TV is coming on. Holy shimoli. Crazy talk. Okay, well... I don't know that I like the guideline because it doesn't, the guideline is up here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the guideline is here. And this is where it kind of seems like it needs to be stuck. So I'm not going to listen to the guideline. Here's the guideline. So if you guys get this kit, you might want to do the same. And then I think this is where it needs to be stuck because if I put it up here on the guideline, it's not going to fold. See how it, like, it's not going to fold properly, but if I put it down here, it flattens. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So let's start at the beginning again. Fold up flaps A and B and remove, so these are the flaps A and B, and remove the easy peel adhesive from the bottom flap. Fold up and use the guidelines to adhere to the other side of the card. So I'm just going to fold it up. And then that's kind of funny because I think that it makes the flap stick down. 
for the little greeting thing there. Okay, it's all right. It didn't. It didn't. It was fine. I was just worried for nothing, but I wanted to check it out in case you guys want to make these too, because these are really cute. And I really like that it's not a gift card now because that's less pressure for me to have to include gift cards in some of these cards. Okay, so I've done that. And then now it says, remove the easy peel adhesive and place the house on the interior panel as shown in the diagram. Make sure the front of the house is face down. So front of the house should be face down and I need to put this, well, there's two sides to the house. here. So I will remove the adhesive from here and put him face down, but he's face down both ways. So whichever. And then it says to remove the easy peel adhesive and glue the panels together as shown in the diagram. So this would be this piece of And this piece of and like that okay so let's take off this piece of and this piece of and then I will fold them together And then now, fold plan panels around the center piece and adhere flat to the inside of the last panel. Oh no, this is an opening. Oh my goodness. Ah, it's a fail. This is totally... This isn't doing what it's supposed to do. Something is stuck where it's not supposed to be. I feel like it's that. Okay, this is not working. This is supposed to be. Okay, hold the phone. Maybe I was looking at it wrong. Maybe that line isn't even a line after all. Maybe it's just... Okay, this one is not as easy to understand. It's not as intuitive for sure. And it kind of covers up the bunny right there, but that's all right. I'll just, and then, okay, so, whew, this one is not as intuitive as you would hope. So this whole thing goes up. I'm going to have to start over. Okay, here's the issue. Let's start again. If you guys do this, <laughs> we open it up. So this is how we got it. I'm taking all of this goes up and makes a box like this. These two pieces will get stuck together. So go ahead and just fold it all the way up and stick it like that. You want this whole thing folded up 
and stuck. And I don't know, I might need to use some glue on these. Now that I've stuck them and restuck them and stuck them again, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue just to be sure. Well, now that one feels pretty stuck, but. I think this is right this time. The first card had me all excited. I mean, this one's still cute. It's just different from what I expected, and it's not super, the instructions are not super intuitive. Okay, and then it said to stick I think this guy gets stuck on the inside here. Let's just double check. Yes, he does. So this guy gets stuck on the inside of this flap on this side. I guess it doesn't really matter which side he goes on, but something like that. And then these two pieces stick together on the inside and they both have glue on them, so that's a little bit different because you kind of expect just one side to have glue, but they both have glue on them, or tape on them, whatever. And I'm going to put them together so that those rectangles meet. And then these two have glue. And so what I'll do is I'll bring that around so that these two fit together. This has a score line here, so I'm going to score that and then I'm gonna put these two flaps together like this. So it's kind of, so when it opens, It opens, you just kind of pop it open. These two are not wanting to stick together. I'm just going to hold it closed for a minute. It is really cute. It just isn't very intuitive. So it will, it will be like this when you are finished and you take one of these and you slip it into these little slots, which may need some help being opened when you have it all glued down. And that's what you'll sign. And then it, you're supposed to use these stickers which are just cute little snowflake stickers to decorate wherever. And it shows like one up in the tree. Looks like there's three. Oh, there's plenty per card. Five or six of them. One here.
kind of get lost if you put them on the green. I kind of like it on the white. And then it has the glitter glue and it says decorate with glitter glue and snowflake stickers. So you can decorate it however you want with the glitter glue. Like maybe I'll make the house snow glittery and some of the snow on the thing, but I think I'll wait and do that when I make all of them. And then, so this is how it sits up like this. It's actually a really cute card. It comes like this. Here's the back. That's really cute. You could add a few snowflakes to the back or a snowflake to the back. I almost wish I had more animals on the front. And then here's the front. And it just kind of sits like that. And then folds flat for mailing. You sign that. It's really cute. Now that I know how to do it, I think it'll be a little easier. Should we do one more just to make sure that we can do this again? Okay, so we have this. I'm going to score all of the places. Score here. Or not score, but fold on all of the score lines, I guess is what I should say. even score or fold this score line okay so then I take this and fold this up so it looks like a box and I'm just going to fold it all the way up because that's how it's gonna lay that's what I need to remember fold it all the way up because that's how it's gonna lay And then take this little guy and he's going to go in here and then again I don't know exactly why they have two pieces of adhesive but they do so I'm going to go ahead and take off both pieces of adhesive Open these up. Oh. oh, I didn't take off my adhesive here. Ah. Take off the adhesive on this side. Fold it all the way up. There we go. Now take these, and these two will go together. This will get folded outward. This piece, now that I know how to do it, it's way easier. We'll get it here to this piece, just like that. And then our Happy Holidays card will go in here. But again, I don't know if these are just harder to open or if they're taped can't really tell. I think they're just harder to open. And then I can just slide this in here. Like that. And then I can decorate it to my heart's desire. Okay, way cute. Way easier. That one wants to pop inward. This one does not, so... No, I think it's fine. That's what it looks like. I think it's really cute. Hopefully you guys can see that too. I can <laughs> maybe zoom in a little bit. <laughs> I have my little level on my... There we go. So yeah, I think it's cute. And I think it'll be cute when I do some glue on some of them and add a little bit of snowflake so there are the two cards from michael's the recollections collection oh got a little glue on my 
haven't gotten the second card out yet, sorry. Here are the two cards. Both of them turned out really cute, and I think for the price, I mean, they're less than a dollar a card um, when you get them on sale. Which, I don't know. Compared to how much I spend when I'm making them, that's kind of still a lot, because I don't, when you make them yourself, you, I don't know. It just, you, if you want to do them, they're fun. Open oh, this didn't stay on there. They are fun to make though, and I think that they turned out really cute. So you might want to give them a try, see what you think. And yeah, hope you have a very happy holiday. And this could just be a winter card, maybe. Does it say? Does it say? Let it snow. Oh, Merry Christmas. You could cover that up if you wanted to and just keep it, let it snow. So yeah, and this one says happy holidays. So use however you like. And thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.